Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to compress and uncompress data from PLSQL. The UTL Compress package provides an API to allow compression and decompression of binary data. It supports the raw, blob, and B file data types. It uses the same compression algorithm as the gzip utility. In this example, we'll use the LZ Compress and LZ Uncompress procedures. We define three blobs for the original source data, the compressed data, and the uncompressed data. We set the original blob to a 32k string made up of the numbers 0 to 9. We initialize the compressed and uncompressed blobs. We compress the data using the LZ Compress procedure, passing in the original blob as the source and the compressed blob as the destination. Next, we uncompress the data using the LZ Uncompress procedure, passing in the compressed blob as the source and the uncompressed blob as the destination. We display the length of the three blobs. We need to free the associated temporary lobs once we've finished with them. Looking at the output, we can see the original source lob was 32k. It compressed down to 108 bytes. When we uncompressed it, it returned to its original size. This is a repeat of the previous example, but this time using the LZ Compress and LZ Uncompress functions rather than the procedures. Not surprisingly, the result is the same. The LZ Compress procedure and function accept a quality parameter to control the speed and level of compression. Level 1 is the fastest compression, level 9 is the best compression. The default value is 6, which is what we used for the previous examples. In this example, we compare the settings. In addition to the compressed blob, we define blobs for quality 1 and 9 compression. In addition to the default compression, we perform compression operations with quality 1 and 9, using compressed blob 1 and 9 as the destination respectively. We display the lengths of the blobs and free all the temporary lobs. From the output we can see the original blob was 32k. The default compression, which is level 6, results in 108 bytes. Level 1 compression is more than twice the size of 222 bytes. Level 9 compression is 108 bytes again. So with this source data, both level 6 and level 9 result in the same level of compression. The amount of compression possible depends on the source data. In these examples, we've used highly compressible data, so the results are very good. For other source data, the level of compression may not be as good. We've only used blobs in these examples, but the UTL Compress package supports raw and B file data types too. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.